as upheavals transform the world of man. of the knife. The joy is ephemeral. It leaves fear in its wake. A fear that all too soon the time will come when you must bid farewell again. Yet you cannot help but long for the next encounter. Humanity's great frailty. We prefer past happiness to future uncertainty. This is what the end of the world looks like. Are they going to destroy the planet? <laughs> I don't know. But if the world does end here, my future should never have happened. Which means there must be a way to stop them. So, what is it? What's wrong? The daughters of the Sundered Cocoon are sacrificed to beasts from time itself. The pillar crumbles to ash and sand and down to earth. The cocoon does fall. What? What? Sarah. Sarah! Sarah! Was it a vision? Does Sarah have the same power as you? Why? Why did she react the way she did? Wow. That is one gigantic monster.
won't stay dead. Let's go. Get out. Hit it hard while it's down. And no, I mean we get out of here. That way. You are slow. Let's go. Oh, hey, Sarah. Listen, hotheads who can't back down don't last long on this planet. <laughs> Maybe. Sometimes you gotta make a stand. <sighs> You're not listening to me. Humans aren't strong. They die easy. Well, some of us are tougher than others. <laughs> anyway, thanks for the help. You got a name? Kobo. <laughs> uh, uh, this is Noel. And this is Snow. We're getting married. It's on hold for now. Uh, yeah. You know, somehow I didn't expect you to be such a hothead. All I hear is what a great guy Snow is. And look where you are, all the way in the future. I'm sorry, who's the hothead? What were you thinking bringing Sarah out here? Listen, Snow. <laughs> Guess what, Lightning? I found Snow again. He hasn't changed a bit. Still as reckless as ever, still doing his own thing. To think I spent all that time worrying about him. Stupid me. Guess I'll never learn. And that's how we got here. Koopa! Now it's your turn. Why did you up and leave Sarah? What are you doing fighting here in the future? <sighs> you really want to know? <laughs> I asked, didn't I? Lightning appeared in my dreams, too. Can you believe it? You saw lightning? She told me I had to protect Cocoon, so I started jumping through time, checking things out. I learned that the giant jelly bean back there knocks Cocoon down. You mean the flan we just fought? Uh-huh. According to the stories I heard back in my own time, Cocoon was brought down by war. Well, there's more than just one cause. Did you see what it was doing, that flan? It's melting the crystal of the pillar, bit by bit. But Vanille and Fang, they're inside it. Yeah, so Cocoon starts to get unstable, people feel the tremors and begin to panic. Next thing you know, everyone's fighting each other. Yeah. It's consistent with what I know, sort of. I can't believe Lightning appeared in your dreams as well. She told you to protect Cocoon's pillar, so she must want you to save Vanille and Fang. Like I said, sometimes you gotta make a stand. I don't have a choice. My mission is to stop that thing for good. How about putting your search on hold for a spell? Right now it's Fang and Vanille who really need our help. And if the pillar continues to be damaged like this, Cocoon will start to wobble and shake. We have to do something about that flan. Hope told us to try and protect Cocoon. I think that's what my sister would want too. None of this makes sense. There are thousands of flan appearing out of nowhere, and they're fusing and creating a beast that shouldn't exist. Could it be a paradox? If it is, we'll need to do some traveling to fix it. Which means you've got to find an artifact first. Lightning, did you meet Snow in his dreams? Is there a reason why you can only talk to us when we sleep? Snow hasn't changed one bit, even though it's been years since I last saw him. He's still as hot-headed as the day we said goodbye. It makes me so mad. But it's a relief, too. I've been caught up in the fate of the world for so long. It feels good to worry about the simple stuff. Being with Snow helped me forget about what the future might hold. Oh, 
There are so many little flan. Where are they all going to? We follow them straight to the artifact. Oh, maybe. It could happen. They may be drawn by the space-time disturbance. Let's find out. belong to the Flan, a Flan-controlled, Flan-friendly, and Flan-approved kingdom. Sarah and Noel once defeated a massive Flan, but the act triggered a paradoxical backlash and filled the breadth of Cocoon with gelatinous organisms. From among them rose the most powerful Flan to ever exist. The entire world quailed beneath its tyrannical pseudopod. Would all of Cocoon be devoured by this immense Flan potentate? water in the vibrant woods, and all the monsters lived happily together, Kupo. The monsters loved to test their strength, and sometimes their games got a little rough. But even so, they all got along fairly well, Kupo. One bright and sunny day, a mean flan came along and declared himself to be the king of the forest, Kupo. Flan stood as high as the clouds in the sky, so none of the monsters disobeyed him, Kubo. The king ordered his royal subjects to shower him with gifts from all corners of the world, Kubo. In return, he promised to banish humans from their domain, and he would create a kingdom where monsters ruled the land, Kubo. <laughs> I told you we'd just be able to sneak in. Hey, Sarah, how do I look? Just like a monster? The transformation spell worked like a charm. No one can tell who we are. Mog, now we'll need the wonder honey. Can you go find some? Kupo, off you go. Hurry. The king was even bigger than the giant plan we defeated in the past, Kubo. 
So we all came up with a marvelous plan, Koopa. We would transform into monsters and sneak in unsuspectedly. Then we would present the king with a delicious bland, Koopa, and he would say, Incredible! And then he would keel over and die on the spot. We're going to serve up a dish of poison flan to his royal highness. Fight flan with flan, as they say. It's a flawless plan, Koopa. Hey, what's taking so long? Where's that wonder honey? We also need some hoax herb and exquisite sugar, you know. And don't forget the rotten cheese. <laughs> Why do I have to do all the work, Koopa? Oh, oh. You're going to be the 